Hi everyone, great class today. Um, so regarding the timeline, I'd been waiting to see how this online format was working out and how far we'd get and, and what kind of learning and testing is possible. So taking all this into consideration, um, I'm not gonna do three multiple choice exams and I'll go through what we'll be doing instead. The full specs for all of this will be posted online shortly. Here's the gist of the three parts. So first we had a prelim worth 5%, the practice prelim. Um, instead of doing this multiple choice practice prelim, we're gonna have a shorter quiz online and a qualmry, which collectively will be worth 5% of your grade. So on October 6th, which is two weeks from today, we'll have an online quiz during our meeting time. This is a quiz that you know, you're gonna need to take it during that time. After you finish the quiz, you'll be assigned an article from the course, and you'll complete a qualmry breakdown on that article. And you're gonna do this on your own time. So it's gonna start, you'll have the opportunity to begin on Tuesday the 6th of October. Um, you'll take the quiz, and then you'll get the article, but your qualmry won't be due until Thursday. So the Thursday class, um, the four class, that will be due. Also, I just want to note that on October 1, which is the Thursday before the 6th, there is going to be a recap lecture video highlighting important topics and findings from the course so that this multiple choice quiz, um, you feel prepared for that. Why do it this way? My hope is that this is going to prioritize understanding and critical thinking about the most important content with um, a quiz, and it, it also includes the qualmry element to not only minimize multiple choice questioning, but help you nail down that qualmry framework in a pretty low stakes assignment before you apply it in your own research project, which is coming up next. Um, so the feedback you receive on this assignment should prepare you to produce a really strong original research project. Okay, part two, this is the second prelim. Instead of a second prelim um, or midterm, we're gonna have a research project. It's in two parts, but the first part of it is this midterm part. So on Thursday, November 12th, by 11.15 a.m., um, please submit your own research project idea. Um, this is going to be a qualmry uh, framework, about 350 to 500 words, with an annotated bibliography, so six scholarly references, three supporting your hypothesis, three supporting the alternate hypothesis, and I'll post um, some APA style guidelines. What to research? Um, the very best projects will connect the dots across different themes and topics in the course. So think in a meta kind of way about the topics you've learned about and see what questions remain when you bring the different theories and findings together. So be synergistic. Importantly, the study needs to be feasible and you should be able to gain some understanding of the question by polling people about some aspect of your question or related sub-question. So, also due on November 12th by 11.15 a.m., create a poll question. This should be relevant to your study and inform your study and you add it to our class question pool, which will be on Canvas. We'll give you a link. When your question is answered by a good-sized sample of people, which in, uh, we have in this class, about 100 people, the results will help you differentiate between your alternative hypotheses, or at least um, whether your research question is already answered or not, or new directions you might wanna go. The poll it's gonna be administered to all of your, cla your classmates on one giant survey. Um, and this is gonna to be totally anonymous, but of course, please don't ask your uh, classmates anything about overly personal or triggering topics. We are still in the same assignment. This is the midterm. The next part of it, B, um, is to go and answer all the questions in the question pool. So this will be your question and everybody else's, so about 100 questions in a Qualtrics survey. This should actually be pretty fun considering the ideas that you all come up with. And the success of your project and everyone else's really depends on everyone answering everyone else's questions. You'll see in a moment, um, the final is also gonna be impossible 
without everyone contributing by taking the poll. So with, you know, near 100 participants, every student will have enough data to analyze. And again, um, you're not going to be asked to answer anything you would prefer not to answer, though. This is, you know, um, you are free to skip. All right, in the last section of the midterm, collectively, these three parts, A, B, and C, are worth 10% of your grade. The last part is due on December 1st. And that will be um, turning in an updated Qualmry with your results section amended to reflect what you found in that poll. This means you'll run super simple descriptive statistics on your results, like reporting the frequency, for example, making a chart of that. We're going to have a step-by-step -step video um, available on YouTube that will help you do this if you're not familiar. Report the results um, by amending your original Qualmry that was due on the 12th of November. And again, feel free to supplement the results section now with a table or a graph. Finally, your final. Um, so we won't be having a final prelim. We'll have a final project due December 10th. This is the, the last stretch here of the same research project. It'll be a short report. So submit in the style of a short report from psychology journals, and we're going to have examples posted on Canvas, your project, um, the description of your project and what you found. This short report, it uses APA style, and it has the sections abstract, introduction, um, it has a discussion at the end, and then uh, those sandwich the uh, method and results. Together, the intro and discussion should be under 750 words. The method and results together should be only around 250 to 550 words. The abstract is also uh, pretty short at 150 words. The bibliography doesn't have a word limit. So this means that it's a concise report. Include tables and figures up to two, uh, figures encouraged. But the short report should be about 1,000 to 1,200 words, including these parts. It should read like a journal article, but make sure you have all the Qualmry elements covered. Your short reports will be compiled and organized by theme into an online journal of the psychology of good and evil, the fall 2020 edition. Um, if you're not familiar with research, you might have some hesitancy about this style of testing. In some ways, multiple choice can be easier. Um, so it might be, seem diff difficult to integrate your learning into an original research project if you have no experience with this. Um, if this is you, please make an appointment or come to office hours to discuss. Um, and we'll also have some class time devoted to brainstorming before the parts are due. Thanks. While I have you, let's go over what's up next, moral values. Next up is lecture three on moral values, which will be posted on Canvas on Thursday morning as usual. And again, post on the discussion board by Sunday at three and respond to your group members' posts. Thanks. Finally, I'm sorry to keep bringing this up, but um, I have a mid-semester feedback survey I would love you to fill out. Um, I've emailed about it a couple of times. This is an opportunity for you to let us know how your learning could be improved and to incorporate your suggestions for the rest of the term. Um, also, it really helps the department and me know how to improve the course design and the education that we offer you in general. Um, I have sent you the link and it should be in your email. Um, and I really appreciate you taking the time to do this. Thanks so much.